Welcome to part 5 of our e-audio video tutorial series which will outline how registered users are able to download and enjoy their items. It's assumed that you're already registered and that you can navigate around and search for the items you want to borrow or reserve. It also assumes that you know how to access the My Account area which we covered all in parts 1 to 4 of this tutorial series. Once you're signed in to the area you can either access the download option from the email that you received confirming your loan or if you don't have that available to you at the time you can always go into the My Account area. And the My Account area shows that your current loans and from there anything that is current has a download option. So I'm going to select the download option here. With most of the items that you borrow you will get two alternatives. One will be to download the entire item or a part of the item. In this example I'm going to download a part of the item. You'll see here below there's a summary of how you can actually download, unzip and then listen to or enjoy your e-audio book. But you need to remember that every file that you download has got a one page user guide that outlines the main steps that you need to take to achieve this. So I'm going to select part one. And while that's coming up, it's going to ask me whether I want to run or save the file, or open or save, and in this instance I will save the file to a location. I'm just going to save it to my desktop, but you can save it to wherever that you uh, save your download items. Uh, if you use Mozilla for example there will be a standard download folder so it just depends on what uh, web browser you're using and, and your setup at home so it might be slightly different. So I'm going to like I said save it to my desktop and it will be a zip file. So while that's downloading I'll talk you through the main steps that we're going to do. So it's downloading it onto a file onto my computer. You need to be aware of that, where that's going to be and when you go to that download folder you'll need to unzip it. If you're unsure of how to zip, how zip and unzip works um, please give us a call or come in and see us but it's usually a, a simple process of right clicking on the item and selecting unzip which I'll show you in a moment. So the speed at which this downloads will depend on mainly um, your speed of your internet service and obviously how big the file size is. Once the item has downloaded you need to navigate to the location of where the file was saved, in this case it was my desktop, and you are looking for a zip file. All you need to do is right click on that zip file and select open with WinZip or extract. All is another option that you might see, so I'm going to extract. And you can pick here where you want to extract it to. Some of them are more complex than others and in this instance here I've got a couple of options. But I'm just going to extract it to um, my desktop again. So once you've done that, you should actually see that you see a folder rather than a zipped up folder. So it doesn't have the um, little compression here or a little zip symbol. So once you actually do that you can actually double click into it to see what's in there and because I only downloaded a part of this item there is only the first chapter or the first part and as I said earlier the user guide always downloads with whatever part or full part of an um, e audio book you've downloaded. So if I double click on that you'll see that it is a PDF and if you don't have a PDF reader you can download it for free. And we're basically at the step here where we've unzipped. So we've unzipped, we've downloaded it, we've extracted it, which is unzips it, and we've located where it is. 
there are instructions here for both PC users and for Mac users. The next step which we'll move on to is the enjoy part or actually move it to a system or an application that you can actually listen to the audiobook and again there's instructions there for PC and Mac. If you're using iTunes the best way to do this is to actually drag and drop it into a music folder and then sync it to your device whether that's the iPod, iPhone or iPad. Uh, in terms of how best to do that, I've found that if you create a playlist of the title of the item and then drag them into that playlist, you'll find that it puts the chapters in a good order for you. What I'll show you now though is uh, to actually see how it works in, in Media Player. So I'll minimise this here off the screen and we'll open up Media Player. And there's just some standard items that come in through Media Player. And the item here, it's just a simple thing of selecting it and dragging it and dropping it. And you'll see all the cover art has come in, which is nice. Um, it gives you a summary of how long it is, etc. And from here you can actually um, listen to it. You can also then sync that to any devices that you might have um, associated with your PC. The other option that you've got too is that if you've got a folder that comes up when you actually connect a media device such as a standard USB plug and play um, MP3 player, you can drag that and put that into the folders um, of your media player. There is just a little tip there that if you um, are using Windows Media, don't drag and drop it again as it will create a copy as opposed to finding that it's already there. It's important to note that once your loan period of three weeks has expired that you go and delete copies of the item um, wherever you might have those copies. So that means my desktop in this example and also my media device. Once you've enjoyed that audiobook please feel free to go and have a look and see what else you can find and enjoy. There's lots of variety in terms of non-fiction, um, fiction and children's so please we're always adding new titles and if you do have any other questions please feel free to, to just come and ask. What I'd like to show you now is just um, how easy it is to listen to the, to the item and, and the quality that it sounds like and at the end of that basically it's the end of our video tutorial series um, which had five parts in it and I hope that it assists you in being able to uh, use this great service and enjoy the great items that we've selected for you. Belinda Audio presents this unabridged recording of The Big Fat Cow That Goes Kapow. Written by Andy Griffiths and read by Stig Weems. Big Fat Cows It's raining big fat cows today. How many cows? It's hard to say. A big cow here. A fat cow there. Big fat cows are...